on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What kind of bike do you have? Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. This e bike came by freight. The box isn't in great shape, so I hope I didn't lose much out of it. I don't know what comes with it. I hope the battery didn't come out and stuff. Well, look. I see. This bike comes all assembled. The battery's still in it. Is that the battery? Nope, battery's right here. Handlebars are underneath there. Don't look like any damage yet. Let me get it off the truck. We'll see. Hmm, I don't see any damage. Looks like a single speed. It says class two, 750 watt, 20 miles per hour. A two amp charger, 54.6 volt, three amp output. Oh, so it's a three amp charger. Not much for assembly on this. Got some Allen wrenches, screwdriver, and a stamped wrench, and the keys. And the keys just to remove the battery. This is the Yadea Trooper 01. Look at that, you can be pulling wheelies, boys. Nice headlight. Inverted forks, boys. Holy cow. It's the first time I've seen that on an e bike. What's that, a storage bin? Man, that's a good idea. Battery comes off this way. Ooh, it's a hefty battery. What is it? The 48 volt, 20 amp hour. 25 amps max. There's our charge port. There's an on and off switch right there. We'll get her charged fully. Really not much assembly on this bike. Just gotta take this off, put the handlebars on and put the pedals on, that's about it. Now we just have these three color-coded plugs to plug in. One red goes to brake control. Oh, they're both brake control, so it doesn't matter which goes in what. Make sure you put them nice and tight. They should click in place. Hydraulic brakes, front and rear. Now the pedals. Don't forget, righty goes on the right-hand side. And lefty goes on the left hand side because righty has a right hand thread and lefty has a left hand thread. It does come with a wrench. Let's see how much pressure we can get on that. Actually, pretty good. It's a little bit thicker for a stamp wrench. You can put a little torque on her. Yeah. Not bad for a stamp wrench. At least it went thicker. Jeffro stopped over. Try out the new Harley. Yeah. The hog. That's right. Letting her charge up. We'll try it out later after lunch, huh? Yeah. It's aluminum alloy. Nice. Everything but that stem. Wow, impressive. Looks like we're fully charged. A little warm. Not crazy. I've seen much worse. <laughs> I like this little basket. I don't know if I want to keep this in here because of the extra weight, but it's a good spot to store it. I have a 32 inseam and I could sit my knees bent just a little bit. Turn that on. Huh, lights on. Oh, that's a bright light. I'll try that out tonight. Okay, it's on kilometers. Eco, mid, and high are the settings. That's a uh, walk assist if you hold that button. Oh, 
Okay. Hold these two to get into setup. PO2 sets it to mileage. PO3 must be to voltage. PO4 says 10. PO5 is 3. PO6 is 222. 6. 8 is 45, 9 is 0, 10 is 2, 11 is 12, 12 is 3, 13 is 12, 14 is 30, 15 is 42, 16 is 0, 17 is 0, and back to 1. I suppose I could just leave the keys in there. Feel the shocks working. <laughs> I'm gonna take the stuff out of this basket. The seat's not too bad. If you sit way back, it's softer than up front. Now see on this one, they did put the fender going up front. Let's go over some specs. So the dimensions are 1650 by 700 by 1050 millimeters. It has a 1065 millimeter wheelbase. It weighs 35 kilograms. Top speed is 32 kilometers. Has a 60 kilometer range. Maximum load is 120 kilograms. Battery type is lithium. Battery capacity is 20 amp hours. Battery voltage is 48. Motor type is permanent magnetic. Power rated 750 watt. Rated RPM is 510 rounds per minute. And maximum current is 20 amps, plus or minus one amp. The display is an inch and a half with a thumb throttle. Front and rear brakes are hydraulic. Front and rear brake light control. Four and a half inch LED headlight. CST BFT 20 by four inch tires. Inverted front oil damp and forks. A handy little storage basket. Single gear drive system. Pedal assist. Front fork protectors. Tectro front and rear calipers, hydraulic of course. This bike is UL rated. Class 2, 750 watt, 20 mile per hour. Aluminum alloy frame, and it has rear suspension with a shock. It's a Blashui EPAC drive system. Hmm. Has a schematic diagram. Tells you not to ride in inclement weather like rain or snow. Time for a test drive. Be safe, wear a helmet. Turn the power on. Turn the power on. Let's go for a little ride. Gotta go to high. Yeah, set it 19.8 miles an hour. We're gonna do all throttle unless I need pedal assist. So it's indeed a class two. Don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna try to change this. PO8. We're gonna do it at 100. Let's see if that does it. That should unlock class three. Not legal everywhere, of course. And we'll see if that works. Nope. Must be the controller. Let's see if it has regen braking. Nope. Pretty good. 15 miles an hour up that little hill. 750 watt. That's about average for a 750 watt. This one is going to be the test. Look out, squirrel! Cheese is coming through.
the big Anderson Hill Still doing it. I did use one bar of battery already, but that happened pretty quickly. Wow, looks like this one's gonna make it. There was only one other bike that did it, and I'm not gonna mention its name. It made it. It did Anderson Hill, bravo. It's like a 15 degree incline. Now it's up to full battery again. The shocks definitely work. I'm 245 pounds. They're not soft, but they're there to help you. On the big bumps, it definitely helps. Like this. That didn't work too bad. Woo, 40. Coasting. Do our zero to whatever test it'll do, zero to 20, 19.8. All right, it's where I always do it. Ready, go. Seven, nine, 10, 15. That's it, top speed. Not bad. I hope we could see it. It's weird how it used one bar of battery and now it's full again. That's a little sharp. I hit that with a file. That's a lot sharp. It does have a pretty good amount of takeoff power. And handles nice too. Handles more more like a motorcycle than a bicycle. No pedaling. I haven't had to pedal yet. It's got a pretty good torquey hub. Used one battery bar out of four. Now the only thing people aren't gonna like is this seat's kind of low to pedal. And there is no adjustment. If you're gonna use this more like a motorcycle than a bicycle, it'll be fine. But if you gotta pedal it, you're not gonna be able to get the seat high enough to get the right pedal, unless you wanna stand up. Then you're about eight inches off the seat. Shocks do work pretty good front forks and the rear shock the rear is a little stiff but it definitely absorbs those big ones the front inverted forks don't have any rebound so you'll hear them bang a little bit Forty one point eight downhill. The bike handles great, really. He's wondering who I'm they're both wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> you talking to me? Well, then who the hell else are you talking? You talking to me? I'm talking to you guys. We'll go up this hill. This is a pretty steep hill too. Not quite as steep as Anderson Hill. This is Evans Hill. No problem. It's like top speed all the way up. I know one thing this bike will appeal to shorter people. Like if you're five foot four, five foot three, I think you'll flat foot on it. And you get a lot more range in my fat butt. Oh, I guess you could be heavier than me, but you'd be a lot rounder. All right, so you use one bar of battery. This 
Did I mention the brakes work really good going down them hills? We don't live in England. Throttle's pretty good. The seat can be a nut slapper. Which is circle. Oh, the gates are locked. I was going to drive up there. seat's pretty comfortable could use a little bit more padding it's like half battery under a load yeah bounce back up to three-quarter got her floored the whole time boys eight miles so far it says half battery but we're drawn down on it so it's probably about three-quarter battery Enjoy the scenery. This does not have the cruise feature. Still a three-quarter battery. Nine miles. It has a single speed drive. No extra gears. Let's see how fast. And yeah, you can I guess you can keep up. You can keep up doing 20. You know how many dead people are in that cemetery? All of them. Horror, horror, horror. And just like all the other bikes, right brake is rear brake. Left brake is front brake. So let's see. An economy. Huh, it still does 19.8. Mid. Hmm, I don't see any difference. Maybe that has to do it when you're pedaling. Yep. It's about eight miles an hour. About 12. And then of course, 19.8. I wanna get some speed up this hill because it's a big one. Pulls these hills pretty good. Like, definitely better of the 750 watt hub bikes I've tested. There have been a few that are about the same, but this ranks up there. Man, it's a nice place. Still three quarter battery, 11 miles. Might be down to half battery, 12 miles. All right, here we go. Let's see how accurate this is. 19, yep, yeah, it says 19.8, 18. That might be a mile an hour off. So we're doing probably 19, pretty close. Oh, bully. Got some round bales. <laughs> that cow's hot. Yeah, the hub makes a little noise. About average noise. Big hill. Forty point eight. Downhill. Oh boy. 
Some of them stones are big. <laughs> oh, down to one bar. I don't forget, I got a lot of hills here. It does pull the hills good. On a flat, we're back to half a battery. Well, not anymore. Back and forth. It's more accurate when you're not under load. Whoa. Woo, 43.3. The brakes work good. Home stretch, 16 miles, half a battery. <laughs> Good, what I get. What's up? 16 miles, half a battery. It looks like 117, 115 on the hub. Yeah, 118 at the hottest. So 118, the hottest spot is almost 120. You can see where that controller is. Heats up pretty good. And the battery. What is that? About 100 and, 101. If we can get this thing up to 29 miles an hour, this thing would be a ripper. It's got a lot of power. There, I'm gonna slide it back. Alright, there we go. There's your controller. She's warm. Ooh, she is warm. It's a Blashui EPAC drive system. Hmm. No. Well, I don't see nothing to unplug. Kind of a shame, because this bike would fly I'm trying to fold these wires so that they're not on top of these so it'll breathe a little better so you got that one bolt up front and two bolts back here and these were hand tight should check over all the bolts anyway I didn't it's my bad before I forget, oh, that's sharp, that edge. Much better. Hey, Gizmo. Let's try this thing out in the dark. Pretty good. Oh, I see a rabbit. I see a rabbit. Hey, bunny. Oh. Jeez, he's run alongside me. We'll do an off-road slash night test. loud <laughs> a lot of bugs I raised the ISO on this so hopefully you can see a little better in the dark branches down <clears throat> what the heck that was slowed me down almost wiped me out probably not too smart to do this at night I'd probably let a little more air out of the tires for off-road handles the whoo handles the bumps all right 
I haven't charged this yet. It still says half a battery. Yeah, these tires are pumped to their max. Off road. Not that good. It's like a basketball. Pretty good headlight. We'll do the same route we did last night in the dark. See what I ran into. Hmm. When you sit up here, it's got more of a hump. When you sit back here, it's got more cushion. Must be for where they put that control module. So up front, it's a little stiffer. In the back, it's got more cushion for the pushing. Who did that? Bigfoot? Photo op time. It's not poopy, it's leaves. Still on the same charge from yesterday. Uh, like I said yesterday, these are pumped to the maximum pressure. If I was going to do off road, I would definitely drop them down to like 10, 8 pounds. Need a little pedal power. So 17 miles, still holding half a battery. It did sit overnight. How tall are you? Five foot seven. Yeah, and you can stand off that seat. Yeah, I'm flat foot sitting on it. It's very comfortable. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. Little, the seat's a little wide, but... Sit all the way on the back. Farther back. See how soft it is? Yeah. I think it's because of the hump for the controller. Some, like, delay. Yeah, they all have a little bit. <laughs> it does pick up faster. It definitely has more of a delay than the others, though. Yeah, a little bit. When you press the throttle, it, and when you let it takes off, like a whole second for it to start going. Almost. Yeah, definitely for someone that's a little shorter. Like I think somebody that's five foot could probably ride that thing. I have to get mommy down here. Maybe.
So what do I think? I think you get a lot for your money. I sure wish they'd get back to me and see if we can do this to class three. That'd be pretty damn awesome. Because this did do better than most on Anderson Hill. That's a great test. I like the basket for the storage. Just have to sandpaper a little bit inside. The edges were a little sharp. It is a full aluminum frame. The welds are really good on it. Prices of these have been coming down. You know, this is a pretty good deal for the money, I think. I like the longer seat better. It's a little stiff on the front. I wish I had just a little more padding. Like I said before, if you're a shorter person, the seat height is literally 31 inches. So if you're taller, you're going to have problem pedaling if you want to do just pedal power. So you primarily want this as kind of an off-roadish type bike. Full throttle power type bike. One gear. But there's nothing wrong with that. I usually keep mine in high gear on all the other ones. <laughs> and it's pretty cool too. Reminds me of the old retro motorcycles. So if you're interested, I'll have the links down below and at MotoCheese.com. Tell me what you think. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.